The last video we made on checking the set of aftermarket cylinder heads, there was some people that said it was an isolated incident. So here's a set of heads that a customer from the East Coast sent me. I've never seen these heads in my life, but we're going to check them to be fair and see what kind of what kind of run out these heads have. So bear with me, I gotta unbolt them. I might add too that the way AFR ships their heads is excellent. It's the best in the business that I've seen. And I don't like picking on an AFR head over and over again, but it's what I use. Bare AFR head. Sold bear. It looks to have a valve job on it. And uh, looks pretty good. So let's put it in the machine and find out what we got. Get a close up of the seats on that thing. Looks to be like a 290 AFR 290. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, about five, five and eight tenths run out. So let's mark that 5.8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about oh, seven, seven thousand run out. Say, so, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half.
one, two, three, four, five, five on that one. Okay, let's check the exhaust. Usually they're quite a bit better. I mean, normally I don't check the run out on these seats because I just revalve jaw them anyway. But generally the exhaust is a lot better. One, let's get about one and seven tenths. Let's say one point seven on that, which is within spec. Two thousandths, I believe, is the maximum run out you should be allowed. It's not to say that this will not work, because it will work. It's just not as good as it could be. And the sky isn't falling. It's about 1.8. So that's in spec. So clearly there's a problem on the intake side. One, two, three, two on that one. Three point two. That one's got about three. All these aftermarket heads are like this. AFR is not the only one that does this. This is a really nice head. With a little bit of work, it can make, it will make a lot of power the way it sits. But it can be fine tuned. I could tell you just by feeling the short turns that just a little bit of work and they will pick up another 10 CFM that easy. Now, you want me to cut the exhaust seat? I noticed I got on the one that has 3.2 thousandths run out.
one in there with the gallon. You're gonna have to take it off to get down in there. Maybe five tenths run out, half a thousandths. So now let's check one other thing since we're in here doing this. This Healy coil is how I know how much I've taken off the seat. That's a seat I just cut. So that's at zero. Let's look at these other seats. This seat is at three and a half. You got that? Now, let's go down the rest of them. So we know that the seats that aren't cut are at three and a half. I'm sure they're gonna be very close because these, this valve job is done on an epoch, which would set all the heights virtu virtually perfect. Okay, we're at four on this one. So it's within half thousands, which is good. three on this. So right now all four of these seats were probably within a thousandths on the height which is good. Now I do have another head in this box that I can do another one if you want to see that. <laughs> 